These are procedures performed to cover some receding gums or to close the distances in the teeth. The appearance is the process of transferring healthy tissue from one area of the mouth to another. Healthy gums are important protectors for the health of teeth. Healthy gums protect our teeth from periodontal disease and sensitivity. While our gums must be healthy for an aesthetic smile, it plays an important role in the full function of our teeth. Necessity of gum graft operations. Gum recession, trauma, and periodontal disease may be the causes. The primary purpose of gum grafts involves extending the gum. The second stage is to remove the gum removal, if possible, and return it to its original position, if possible. Gum grafts are generally used in the same way that gums are consumed. It is not possible to close the gum attachment with gum grafts. Gum grafts can be applied to stop the cutting of the gums. The tissue area taken from inside the mouth consists of new tissue within 4 to 12 weeks. Optimal oral hygiene before and after is a very important factor in the success of the operation. Operation Types A wide variety of gum graft operations are available. And the type of operation is determined by the amount of gum recession, the amount of gum recession and what needs to be stored. When it comes to options, the gum specialist informs the patient about which method would be most appropriate. Connective tissue graft. In this operation, the gum specialist opens a certain part of the palatal tissue, which is the roof of the mouth, usually like an envelope, and obtains the connective tissue located there. It fixes the removed connective tissue to the recipient area with special stitches that continue according to the gum recession. The palate tissue, which is the donor area, is closed with stitches. Some publications are offered by some special agencies in this region. Free gum graft. It is a preferred gum operation for those with thin gums and the need to increase the amount of gum. During this surgery, the gum specialist, it takes the gum tissue from the superficial layer of the palatal tissue, which is the roof of the mouth. It fixes the gum tissue to the applied area with very thin stitches. Stem grafts. Stem grafts are applied when there is sufficient amount of gum in the area adjacent to the area with missing gum. Healing and comfort are better provided if the operation remains unilateral. Thanks to the separation of the transferred connection from the donor tissue, the nutrition of the operation is provided at the maximum level. Stem grafts are the first choice of the gingival specialist as this material is suitable for the conditions. Texture used. Graft operations can be performed using one's own tissues or with tissues obtained from tissue banks. However, it should be known that it is the structure of individuals' own bodies that has the maximum amount. Preparations before gum graft. The patient and the dentist have a number of procedures that need to be done before the gum graft operation. First of all, oral hygiene should be maximized, if any, dental debris should be cleaned. If necessary, root planing procedures should be performed and pockets should be eliminated. Gum surgery can be performed after it is determined that the individual can maintain oral hygiene. During gum procedures, no pain occurs due to local anesthesia and numbness of the operation areas. However, although there is no pain, there may be a feeling of discomfort since it is after an operation. The gum specialist who performs the surgery explains in detail what needs to be done after the operation and how to use it. Recovery period. There are some situations that need to be taken into consideration during the recovery period. The operation area should not be brushed or flossed. The mouthwash prescribed by the gum specialist should be used. Heavy exercises should be avoided. Hard foods should be avoided. Soft, cold and warm foods should be consumed. Smoking should not be used. Pain and discomfort following the operation were common among those involved. Recovery is usually rapid. Stitches are the basis for tissue healing within one to two weeks. In some individuals, 
This healing process may vary. It takes six to eight weeks for the transferred tissue to fully integrate with the tissue in the recipient area. After the operation, there may be increased sensitivity in the teeth in this area, but healing will continue and this sensitivity will decrease. A follow-up appointment with a gum specialist is expected one week after the operation. If it looks appropriate, some of the stitches will come out at this appointment. This video is for informational purposes only. We would like to emphasize the importance of consulting with your dentist to determine which treatment is most suitable for you. If you find our videos informative, please do not forget to like and subscribe. Wishing you healthy days.